what's up again guys thank you so so much for tuning in onto my youtube channel this week yes the fur's out it's spring it's summer your girl is popping in all the colors that i can wear with confidence but yes besides the point i figured that i should try this hack of having actually more than one art piece in my spot so the previous textured art canvases or well, not canvases the art pieces that i had made the backs of those were just blank and brown and boring so i figured i could have four art pieces instead of just two from the ones i made so yeah i painted the backs of these so please do stay tuned and watch please also do share and subscribe this really really helps me out guys can you please just spread the joy spread the love love summer and love your homes and diys so my inspo for the pieces that i'm about to do are just these modern abstract natural toned color paintings that are on the right hand side of your screen so as you can see i am starting with a blank white piece that i achieved using a matte spray paint following this i will use my rustoleum stone textured natural toned spray to give it that stony effect in that um like bracketed or boxed off area i will use this ice cream lid as a guide not to go over the lines too much i unfortunately did spray a little bit too close in the center there of that natural tone box that i was trying to create but as i laid the second coat you actually couldn't see it as much once you've put it at the like on top of your display piece so I followed this up by adding more geometric shapes and I followed uh, what, what I did was decided to just adjacent to and right on the natural tone box to draw a black rectangle as neatly as I could. I tried to frame this one out as well using a pencil but I couldn't get the pencil on top of the Rust-Oleum stone textured paint. So the inspo for this I actually got from uh, Pinterest. They do have multiple types of extra art uh, inspo and design styles or types that you can work from or get inspiration from. Whichever it is that you choose and however it goes with your color scheme, you will find all the stuff that you're looking for on there. And I did choose this palette as I did say that I'm trying to go for a different look in my lounge. And starting off with the bar area, which I'm still really busy trying to think of how to update, but more in a modern type of style and get rid of actually all the farmhouse style pieces that I had done for it, like the wine bottle stopper art piece that I did. I think I'm actually going to get rid of that or find a way to update it into a more modern, more sleek you know they say scanned but i really feel like modern actually pronounces more of what you're doing than having it to be super fold and therefore busy and drawing your attention to it so yeah that's what i've been trying to attempt with my art pieces and such so i will also be filling this out i am planning a couple of hauls to a few of the home decor stores so those will be just a battle of the prices and maybe what I like the most from what they're showing in this season. I did about two coats of the black acrylic paint that I still am using from my initial haul from the crazy store. And I used this crisscross method to just try to build up more texture. And I think I did about like, yeah, I did two coats on this. Spe uh, specific area that I was working on here but I waited for it to dry about like 10-15 minutes in between each coat uh, yeah and I tried to neaten up the lines as much as I possibly could it's not as fine but I will be trying to correct that with more white uh, paint that I'll be adding on afterwards So now guys, this didn't come together as quickly as I would have probably liked it to, to actually give me a little bit of hope towards what I am going for. But as I started adding on and just shading out and outlining and trying to make this more crisp as possible, neatening the lines that I uh, got a bit smashed from when I was spray painting that stone textured spray paint, it actually did come right 
as much as I could actually get it right. But yeah, as it is an abstract art piece and it is a DIY piece, perfection is not what I did strive for, but it really looks good against my wall and backing. And yeah, that's, that's just me trying to neaten this up right now. So once I was happy with how all my sides and edges were coming together and neatening up as I went, I really did figure at this point that I'll need much more interest and focus to be put onto this piece. So I was sitting around playing with shapes uh, and I thought of actual lines, like strokes of uh, black and possibly another color that I do have in my scheme to go onto this piece so i opted for lines in uh threes and i also opted for a uh, circular uh bronze uh, structure to be added onto this piece so but i also needed them to have cohesion with the rest of the form that i'm taking so i did want it to touch on the stone and actually just be on the bare blank uh white spray painted part of the piece So for this, I opted for a smaller size circle compared to the two geometric shapes that I already had. So I actually used my black spray paint lid to like trace out a circle and then followed it up with the bronze uh, colored paint that I did also buy from my PA initial haul from earlier this year. I then also followed this up with some vertical, well, in this case where I was standing, it was vertical strokes that I did in just brush strokes, but I also didn't want these to be aligned so as to create a uniform look, but a more scattered type of thought of sort of look as much as I could actually get it to be. At this point, the initial part of the painting had actually dried, so I was there filling in the gaps that were more apparent as it was now dry, which I after followed up with uh, then painting in my bronze circle. This actually started to show the vibrancy after about two to three coats. Initially, it just looked like brown on camera, but I do promise you it has like a lot of luster and sheen. After I filled in all the coats and let it dry, it actually was more of a apparent color. So now guys, the more difficult part of this was actually deciding on what color to frame it in. I thought of like a natural dark chocolate-like color, but then that would not be matched well with my black painted on frame for the other piece. So I opted to go for black as well. I tried to trace out as neatly and as straight as I could using my broken piece of ruler there and achieved a uniform line along all the borders. So, and then I painted that in by stippling it on and uh, trying not to drag the paintbrush as much as I possibly could to avoid making a mess or anything of it. So yeah, and that would be my final work on the piece. I would then let it dry and set it up on my station to show you what it looks like. 
and so there you have it guys this is the final look of my piece i am keen and ready to add on more stuff around it so thank you so much for tuning in once more and if you're not yet subscribed do hit that button bye